Hey guys, what's up? It's me back again, and today I'll be doing some Crimson Adventure show off. So yeah, um, today, uh, one week ago, Crimson Adventure was released, and yeah, I guess it feels you off now. Oh, I got some skills on me. Let's start off by showing the good skill in PvE, which is Brandish Breaker. Um, it's a good skill because it does a shit ton of damage and shit. I'll show you the normal one real quick. It doesn't look that promising, does it? No, it doesn't. Oops. Don't mean to do that, but you can reinforce it with some of your HP by holding the uh, skill button down. You can reinforce the skill with your HP. You can HP too. You can do that with a lot of skills from Crimson Adventure. So let me show it off. I guess it's the and you're wondering why I'm healing, it's because Crimson Adventure. Oh, no, this is a Dark Knight passive called. Can, I think it's Darkness Force. That um, allows your Gale mode to recover your HP when you're getting a with Annihilation skill. Not that. Basically, Gale skills and shit, so. Everything from Rushing Sword will heal you, etc. etc. So next up is a level 14 fight choice. I chose Threat Weapon, which is this thing. It's funny to fly around. Let me just test something out real quick. No, you can't fly like this, I can. Oh well. So that's that. It has good damage, I guess. And heals. Next up is an active, which is links your you to the opponent, which shares the damage, which is basically like Lilanic Fuckers, what's it called? Uh, reverse Reactor. So, yeah. And next up is Dark Wave. It looks like that. Basically, you gather opponents up. It's basically a PvE skill which gathers mobs up. I'll show you a little bit. Oops. Make a pile of them and then put them to level 60. I'll show you that they can gather up. Okay, there. And you just kill them from there. And that's really useful. Next up is... Story. You should all know that by now. And next up is another Annihilation skill, which is this. Injection Buster! It can be charged until level 3, and there's the damage. So... Yeah. It's kinda like, uh... Shovel Divider and... Something else, whatever. Anyways, PvP skill time. And this, I think it's more damage, but I'm not quite sure. This is really OP in PvP. And then, oh yeah, enjoy this thing too. So it's Brutal Cutter, it's especially active. I don't recommend it at all. Just gives you a little extra range and it's quite bad. So I would not recommend it. Anyways, next skills. We have. Oh yeah, this injection stigma. Yeah, I have more stuff that are active right here. Next up is Assault Impact, I think it's called, I can't remember. I do not really care. Whoops. Again, it's a PvP skill, so... Okay, okay, no, it will work. There we go, so basically what it does, it uh, looks pretty cool. So basically what it does... I missed. Gives a debuff which permits mana break for like 3 seconds. At my current level, that's really useful. 
And then next up is Injection Stick Time. So I like Sword Shield, except it doesn't do hit stun upon hit. It's only the first hit that does hit stun. It's just balanced in my opinion. Next up is this skill. Again, it's a healing skill. You get healed with it. And it's a medium range in my opinion. So it's a pretty good skill. I recommend for PvP. And PvE, it's really good. Seems like a good, good range. So I guess that's all about Crimson Avenger. Don't really have much to say, I guess. OP character OP class. And everything. Everything's OP with this bitch. Anyways, I think that should be it for Crimson Avenger. Yeah, I guess that's it. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.